All right, let's face it. Unless you have an unlimited budget, finding a home here in Nashville is tough. Ben, I know your family bought a house about nine months ago. It seems despite the pandemic, the housing market has only gotten hotter since then. It is crazy. I never thought in hindsight we were so fortunate to buy last summer, Rebecca, despite the pandemic. Of course, it's been a challenge just to find a place and experts say it's only gotten worse since then. So I reached out to some local realtors here in the area just to see the reason why and what you can do about it. If you're in the market, you can call it the COVID effect if you like as a lot in the industry have because it's really simply spending more time at home, especially if you've worked from home a lot, maybe realizing what you have isn't right right now. Maybe you just want to relocate to a different part of town or take advantage of those historically low interest rates. Whatever the reason, it's led to less inventory. That's no secret. That means it is a seller's market, which of course makes it tough on buyers, especially experts say for first time home buyers who need financing or even those selling their home but need a contingency first. That might mean, of course, you can buy but not until your home sells and industry experts tell me while there's been appreciation, certainly in housing prices and cost of living, Nashville is still a better fit for many that may be moving here to Tennessee from major markets across the country like Los Angeles or New York or Miami. And that means more competition with potential all cash offers and then maybe lower expectations if you're moving in town. Should they lower them just a little bit in this current market if they're buying? Yeah, I think you have to be more flexible when it comes to things like, am I willing to do some minor renovation? Am I willing to do some things to make a place more mine? That's how you can get something now. And then really, I think it's important for people to look at the scope of time a little differently. Are you willing to allow this market to gain some more traction in, as it relates to inventory as the spring approaches? Are you willing to um, hope that interest rates stay where they are, which is really attractive right now? Um, in a lot of cases, I'm telling clients to wait. Middle Tennessee is sitting at 1.2 months of inventory, and that's been a, a, a decrease over, over about the last year to get to that 1.2 months of inventory. And that is a 60% decrease in homes available um, than this time last year. Just think about that. The competition is so tough and they tell me other good tips. If you're looking to buy in this current market here in Middle Tennessee, get good representation, be in a strong financial position with a pre-approval letter ready to go. Just have your offer ready to roll. You got to be quick, but you also, Rebecca, have to be patient. So it's it's so tough at times. I know. And those all cash offers, oh. Ben, oh, they drive people nuts. I know. Well, what advice are they saying if you're on the flip side of this, and you're actually trying to sell your home? Yeah, boy, that's the best position to be in, right? But Here's the thing. Jeff and Andrew did agree. They, they still say you need to price appropriately, right? You, you can't go crazy because it is a strong seller's market. Yeah, but you have to be realistic. The market, they say, will always tell you what your home's worth. And they still say to prep your home for the market that needs to be staged or something like that, because not all homes sell in the first few days. Actually, Andrew tells me the average day on market here in Middle Ten Tennessee is about 86 days or so. So patience, yeah, even for sellers is pretty important too. They don't expect the market to, of course, settle down anytime soon as we head into summer, Rebecca. So buckle up. Yeah, good to know, <laughs> Ben. Thanks.